So today I am showing you the European small emperor moth, the Saturnia pavonia. And what's interesting about these guys is the livestock came from my own country. That's unusual because I raise these kind of species from all over the world. But rarely something from my own country. Now of course the reason for that is that my country only has two species of Saturnidae, while the family counts about 2,000 species in total. So I kind of lost the lottery there. But yeah, it's still cool, it's still a nice fact. Um, I have a few of them here on Hawthorne. Now I'm raising much more of them behind the scenes than I'm showing you in this video. I think I have about 40 of them in total. But it's inconvenient to uh, film so many at the same time on YouTube. So I just took one branch of the old host plant. And this one's blurry. I should focus it like this. And as you can see they have nice colors. They are also quite variable in color. For example these uh, warts on their back, their tubercules. Can be from orange to yellow, but also dark. And they seem to have variable uh, black pigment on their body. And it's just a nice kind of small species of Saturnidae. They can be raised on various plants. I think most people that prefer to breed them on bramble, uh, which is rubus, the genus rubus if you know your plants. But they seem to take a lot of other kind of plants as well, I think including willow and as you can see hawthorn. And these are not yet fully grown. Actually fully grown larvae are still uh, quite a lot bigger. I think they have one more instar to go. As you can see when they are upset from their tubercules they will leak droplets of some sort of mysterious fluid. This is a habit that other Saturnidae uh, have as well if you, if you know how to notice it. And I guess it contains a chemical which repels predators, mainly invertebrate predators. Thank you for watching and until next video.